19-year-old rock journalist. She asks a lot of questions. She's overweight and when she's not interviewing rock stars, she's planning diets. She has parents who are in Nazi death camps and she travels in the 1960s in London, New York, Los Angeles and Monterey, California for her Australian rock newspaper. People ask me, am I Lola Bensky? Well, I'm not Lola Bensky. I'm not any of the characters I write. But Lola Bensky has moved through all the parts of the world that I moved through, and we have um, remarkable parallels between us. I interviewed a lot of rock stars when I was a rock journalist. I interviewed the Hollies, the Kinks, the Small Faces, the Love and Spoonful, Young Rascals, like just about everybody who was anybody at that time. And yet the only people I ever talked about, and I didn't talk about that part of my life very often, were the same, same people that I wrote about. Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Mama Cass, Jim Morrison, Brian Jones. I think I very much wanted to show them as I felt they were, as true, a truer picture as I possibly could of who they were. <laughs> to me, what is relevant is not, did, did Jimi Hendrix say exactly what I said he said in the book or what Lola Bensky talks to him about? I very, very strongly feel that what matters is the essence of who he was. Jimi Hendrix was somebody who moved me enormously. I had never seen a man move like that in my life. I was terrified. It was so sexual. I almost couldn't look. The thing that intrigued me most and that I really felt I wanted to try to get at in this book was the fact that I came from a past that was full of death. My mother and father were both in Auschwitz and they both, almost everyone they loved was murdered. There I was at 1967 at the Monterey Pop Festival and this was a revolution of love and peace and brotherhood and everyone had flowers wound around them and bells and dogs had flowers on them and it, it, I've never seen a large crowd look so happy. And yet what came out of it all and what struck me was that in that period there were a number of people who were just hurtling towards their death. And the irony of being only 20 years after all this death had happened and being in the middle of people who were really, re who really, really valued being alive. There was a connection there that, that I absolutely saw. There are a lot of parallels in the book. Lola Bensky moves to New York. I live in New York and I came to New York because I followed the man that I love and I now live here with my husband. I think that I brought the book up to almost today, you know, in the last couple of years because it was very important to me to look at who was still standing after such a lot of death. The chapter on all the deaths, there is a chapter which deals with all the deaths of that era, I found very difficult and painful to write. I needed to look at who was still standing. Mm -hmm.